and welcome back to the Reapers. We're in our beloved MiG-21 and today we're starting with air to ground ordnance and using them. We've got our uh, Stahl over there somewhere, uh, best teacher on the internet. So first in this tutorial we will be looking at rockets, uh, air to ground rockets and air to ground guns. So we're going to arm up with, on our inner pylons we're going to go to rockets and we're going to have, we've got a choice here, we've got the S24 which is a single big rocket and we got these uh, multi launchers here which come in the flavor of 16 and 32 amounts the s5 so we're gonna have 32 because we're big men rockets 32 and on the other pylons we're gonna have rockets the s24 alpha and bravo the alpha being fragmentation the bravo being bunker busting penetration we believe so we're gonna go for an alpha and rockets for an alpha load it up scotty Request rearming. Welcome back. We've got our weapons uh, loaded. Let's go and have a look at them. We've got 32 uh, pods, 32 rockets on the inner pylons, one and two, and we've got the S24, uh, the large rocket on the outer pylons, three and four. So let's go and look at setting these babies up. So we're going to go to the weapons panel on the left. This uh, switch here is going to go from air to ground. The weapon, uh, the missile switch is going to go to neutral. This is our weapon pylon selector. So this is if we want to fire the S24, which I guess we can do first. Um, we've got two options, pylons one and two, which is the inner pylons, or pylons three and four, which is the outer pylons. And it will fire them both at the same time when we press the weapon release uh, button. So we'd have set that to three and four and that would allow us to fire the outer pylons at the same time. Now, when it comes to the inner pylons, of which I've got the smaller rockets, the pods of 32, we have this, uh, these options here. We've got three options. We can fire um, stations one through four, which is irrelevant because we don't have them on all of the stations. We only have them on stations one and two. We can fire stations three and four, which is irrelevant again, or we've got stations one and two there. So we've got them on stations one and two, so that's what we set them to. Um, no, apparently the one through four setting is not entirely useless, even if you only have the large pods in, on the inner pylons, uh, because it is the smallest amount of rockets you can fire, it's only four rather than 16. Roger, that's the other thing to note then. Also you can see four, eight and 16 on these options, that is the amount of rockets that are going to come off when you essentially pull the weapons release trigger. So yeah, like Charles said, if we're going to go for the one, pylons one and two, it's going to fire 16 at a time, which is an awful lot. Um, that is per wing, by the way, that's also worth noting. Roger, per wing. So it's going to fire half of that pod at once if I went to uh, options one, to, uh, pylons one and two. Roger. So if I went to pylons one and four, I could only fire four per wing. So that's something to take note. Okay. Yes, it also works if you have rocket pods on all your pylons, it will only fire from one pylon. Roger. Noted. Per uh, wing again. Per wing. Okay, uh, now let's look at the gun site. We've got stuff here. We've got gun and LNC. Well, we're not using the gun, so it's going to go to LNC. Uh, we've got um, shoot, uh, shoot or bombing, and obviously we're going to be shooting these rockets, so shoot. Automatic or manual, we want automatic. Um, our, our, our gun site selector, we want from driver onto missile. Uh, I don't fully understand. What Have you got an explanation of why we want missile star? Well, if you set it to gyro, it's going to be very jerky and it's going to be difficult uh, to do a maneuvering approach towards a target. Uh, by setting it to missile, it just becomes a lot more stable, although it does use a couple less factors to calculate the solution. Roger, and what we're talking about is the pipa here that we're going to be using to aim the missile. Okay, uh, so we've also got the here, the size selector of the target, which is relevant. However, we don't know the size of our target here, so I'm just going to set it to a generic 10 meters, because why not? Uh, that's that, and now we've got a look down at the radar, which we want on. So we've got a kind of primitive type of um, kind of radar aim, or radar ranging, if you like, uh, that's going to be calculating that pipa position there. So we're going to go radar, it's been standby, it's been warmed up already, and we're going to go turn it on now, pick, that's our radar on, and we're going to want our beam on, um, so the beam is something, it's just how it's going to be used for firing the rockets, basically. Okay, anything to add, Star, before we go up and shoot stuff? I don't think it should be all for now. Roger, let's get airborne and go and find some stuff. And um, release. Oh 
she's heavy. She is heavy stuff. Mm. Bloody hell. Yep. So firing the S24s first will probably be the best solution. Roger, let's uh, go get some altitude and then we'll come back and use the S24s. Um, one more thing you should probably mention in the video, you do have a launch authorization light and you do have a brake attack light. Roger, so the launch authorization will be there and the breakaway will be there. Uh, opposite of the launch authorization light, basically. Yeah, right. um, you also do have, you remember the, the range scales at the, at the bottom of your HUD? Okay. So what do you want to do, if you look at the very bottom scale, that's for uh, air-to-ground guns and rockets. Um, yes. You want to come in at about 2,000 meters. Yes. Dive at a 10 to 30 degree dive angle. Yes. Uh, throttle down a little bit, engine to 70 to 80 percent. Yes. And you want to fire at 1.7 kilometers. 1.7 kilometers. Roger, I'll give it my best shot style. I'm going to turn around. I see some frigates that want destroying. Well, you know, you can start firing at 1.7 kilometers and obviously break off when you see the, the break attack light. Roger. Also, one thing to note, if you're approaching it in level flight, you want to have it somewhere off to your I yeah. know, 10 or 2 o'clock. Yeah, I just discovered that. The old visibility trick. Right, so I'm um, heading towards the targets. I'm going to keep them in my right window there, rather than going straight towards them. Otherwise, I just won't be able to see them. Then I'm going to kind of roll and dive onto them. Stand by for there. And diving. Okay, range is... 1.6. I'm going to get a little bit closer, still. Yeah, sure. With the S24, it's better. You know, safe and sorry. Okay, I'll see the range better now. Um, about to fire. And... Fire! I fired just before launch authority, which is silly, and hence I miss. You saw, um... That light there is my launch authority, and I fired slightly before, which is a bit silly because I got excited, but that was it. And if I'd got too close, that light would have come on there and um, told me to break off, okay? Right, I'm gonna switch to now my um, my rockets, my inner pylon rockets. I'm gonna go around again and try the same thing again. Okay, let's wait for that little launch authority light to come on. Diving down now. Paper's showing itself. Right, launch authority, don't leave it too late and kill me. Come on at a sensible time, please. You get to hold the trigger until you have, you know, the entire cycle dispensed. Come on, give me launch authority, give me launch authority, give me, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash, I'm firing. Got him! Just as launch authority came on, I fired. Yay, we hit it. Right, let's go around and do that again, that was fun. Yeah, with rockets you probably don't have to come in uh, that steep, you can come in a bit slower, you know, 10 degrees dive is... Yeah, better. roger. 700 picks per hour, going down to 20 degree dive or so. Waiting for launch authority. Come on, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Come on, I want it, 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 I want it. And launch authority! Cap rifle. Kaboomy! Yeah, it's good, Charlie. It works really well. Yeah, it does. Okay, so, uh, took a couple of goes, but we got it in the end. And um, we've learned how to use the rocket style correctly with the launch authority and the radar ranging. Very good. Anything you want to add to rockets? That's uh, two 16s. I've, yeah, I fired everything. Well, there's one thing we could also mention is the fact that you can use rockets against um, large aircraft if you feel like. Because ah, it can be a bit of a pain to shoot them down with guns. Um, but obviously it's going to be not super reliable and a little bit difficult. Roger, okay. Right, next we're going on to air-to-ground guns. Stand by. Right, so now we're going to do the guns. Um, so first thing we're going to do is load our gun. My favourite part. Gun loaded, as you can see. We're going to switch our gun sight to gun. Uh, we're going to keep on missile rather than gyro. Gyro is just for ground attack. Missile just seems to work better than gyro. Gyro will be a lot more wobbly. Other than that, we're going to go in and do exactly the same thing. Wait for our launch authority and shoot a ship. 
Uh, there's one right there, let's go for it. Right, so we're going down 20 degrees or so on our target, zooming in so we can get a nice view, waiting for the paper to rise, waiting for our launch authority, then we'll give them a good old spray of the cannon, which is uh, fire guns bind. That's the one you got to press, fire guns. There's the paper. Coming off the gas, waiting for launch authority. Even though I'd really like to fire now. Come on, give it, give it to me. Launch authority, fire! That was immensely satisfying. <laughs> we fired even when the break off light was on because we're super capped, why don't, yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, I'd say that that air to ground gun was actually pretty, uh, pretty good shot. I hit literally the window that I was aiming for. So I'm pretty happy about that. Right, um, that was air to ground rockets, air to ground guns. Um, anything else to add to that before we sign off? Yeah, one thing uh, that goes both for rockets and for bombs and every other heavy ordnance you can carry on your wings. Whenever you're pulling out of an attack run, be careful not to over G. If you pull any more than four or five Gs or something, you can actually just straight up rip them off the wings. Roger, and remember you've got your accelerometer there on the right. I think that's the accelerometer, so you can check your G level and your maximum G. Fine. Right, thank you for watching. I hope that helps, and we'll see you later.